from divine sister of the light natalia alba beloved ones reversing polarity is one of the most important tasks to achieve on this plane of duality as ascending souls our main mission is to remember who we are heal distortions retrieve our global mission and above all unify polarities this is a time of extreme polarity in the world for as we are witnessing the roles of victim victimizers have been magnified attempting to continue seeding separation what we are living on our planet is the micro representation of what happened millions of years ago of our current time in the orion wars over consciousness which began as you know in the lyra civilization polarization began to spread throughout the galaxy creating the roles programs of victim and victimizer that we are now seeing on our planet and the many active wars that are now taking place guides share the importance of helping our planet heal from this profound polarization to do so first we need to release all programs related to being a victim or seeing what is taking place with duality as if not we could not act within divine neutrality sending love to all involved as we will still hold feelings of separation by thinking of others as good or bad when we reach a space of divine neutrality we need to focus on being aligned to our soul activating the soul seed or portal situated as you know in our thymus gland which connects to the soul and the monad the eighth dimension for us to be able to descend from these illumined dimensions the love and light required to assist in this planetary recalibration guides invite us to reinforce our soul portal with the blue flame of creation visualizing it burning transmuting all negative implants and imprints lower thoughts and any other distortion located around that area so we can open our higher hearts and start functioning from a loving and compassionate state of being guides share for all who are guided as a universal crystal to help us activate our soul portal and azurite for it is one of the most powerful stones to shield ourselves and anchor the blue flame within our fifth dimensional portal clearing it and raising our frequency to that of the fifth and sixth dimensional planes once we feel totally aligned to our soul and monad although the process of monadic activation is an arduous and long-term one guides invite us to extend the same healing and protection to our planet by visualizing the blue flames surrounding earth intensifying the blue colors until we shift into the aurora frequency for what we see from our human perspective as colors are two potent sound frequencies meant to heal restore and shift the magnetic planetary fields deeply manipulated among many other healing work for sound is the main origin of fragmentation of god's source shielding our planet with the higher flames is one of the most protective tools for we are supporting the assistance received and through visualization fortifying the planetary shield without interference for we are residing on a free plane and balancing the ego and the human need for control is essential when we act as planetary healers humility is one of the most important inner works to achieve while we are in the field for we must understand that we are not alone or doing anything on our own as we are in service to the divine anchoring what higher forces and beings first seed our main role is to remain always in our higher hearts being humble and holding loving thoughts that keep us away from aligning with non-benevolent energies for we will be allowing these agreements within our personal field and hence on the planet this is a time to be united to thrive and to remember that it is not about doing but about being compassionate witnesses that create a significant impact we cannot fight the course of the planetary events but we can help in shifting the frequency by focusing on love over fear may you always choose to be love for all beloved ones within infinite love from natalia alba dot com